Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by a pathogen. You should then be able to describe how bacteria and viruses cause illness. And finally you should be able to describe how the spread of pathogens can be reduced or prevented. Now we've already looked at non-communicable diseases in previous videos. But in this video we're looking at communicable diseases. Communicable diseases are spread from person to person. In other words, they're infectious. Now these diseases are spread by pathogens and I'm showing you the definition of the word pathogen here. Pathogens are microorganisms that cause infectious disease and it's really important that you learn that definition. Pathogens include bacteria and viruses which we're looking at in this video. They also include protists and fungi and we're going to be looking at those in later videos. So we're going to start by looking at bacteria. I'm showing you a picture of bacteria under the microscope here. These are a type of bacteria which cause food poisoning. Around 300,000 people in the UK get food poisoning from this type of bacteria every year. Fortunately, most people recover from food poisoning, but sometimes it can be fatal. In fact, many bacterial diseases can kill us. So how do bacteria make us ill? Well, the key fact is that once inside the human body, bacteria reproduce very rapidly. Under ideal conditions, bacteria can divide every 20 minutes. Bacteria can then release harmful chemicals called toxins, like this. Toxins damage tissues and make us feel ill. Now another type of pathogen that causes a lot of human diseases are viruses. I'm showing you here the virus HIV, which can lead to AIDS. Viruses are very different to bacteria, and that's because viruses cannot reproduce by themselves. They can only reproduce inside a host cell. This shows a virus and a human cell. First, the virus invades the host cell. The virus now reproduces inside the host cell like this. This is very damaging to the cell. For example, when the virus leaves the cell, it can cause the cell to burst open and die. And I'm showing that here. Now, pathogens are usually spread in three ways. Firstly, some pathogens are spread in the air, for example, in water droplets. And a good example of that is influenza. Other pathogens can be spread directly in water. For example, cholera spread when drinking water polluted by sewage. And finally, some pathogens are spread by direct contact between individuals. A good example is HIV, which can be spread when drug users share infected needles. It can also be spread by sexual contact. Now there are several ways that we can reduce the spread of pathogens and we're going to finish by looking at these now. Firstly, practicing basic hygiene can prevent the spread of pathogens. For example, washing your hands before eating. Providing people with clean drinking water can also reduce the spread of pathogens. In the UK, drinking water contains chlorine, which kills microbes. Another way of reducing the spread of pathogens is to reduce direct contact between individuals. For example, using a condom during sexual intercourse reduces the spread of HIV. In the case of some highly infectious diseases such as Ebola, patients may be isolated. This prevents the pathogen from spreading to other people. And lastly, we can reduce the spread of pathogens by vaccination, and we're going to look at that in more detail in a later video. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on pathogens in my Vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. OK, so hopefully now you should be able to describe what's meant by a pathogen. You should then be able to describe how bacteria and viruses cause illness. And finally, you should be able to describe how the spread of pathogens can be reduced or prevented. 